what's up youtube back at it again all right this time having some issues with a with a customer's truck all right so here's the thing with the truck it's got electric fans i believe it's a uh, 08 08 09 something like that anyways these apply to all those uh nmbs's all right so we're having uh issues with this truck the fans are not kicking in um they only turn on when the ac is turned on all right so therefore uh, it's not receiving signal to get the the fans kicked on at at operating temperature all right so um ahorita vamos a ver el problema vamos a ver que, que que le podemos encontrar um los fuses they're gonna be here all right so right here all the fuses are here relays all right these two fuses are actually one the ones for the fans aquí and right here all right these are the fan fuses and then here you got your relay your main uh fan relay so here on the back of the lid you're gonna see all right fan high top left corner this one fan high then fan low which is this one fan low and fan control the main uh relay all right, which is this black one right here. All right, so um, I checked all these and these are all seem to be good. Um, fuses are not blown. So the only thing that it leaves me with is uh, the sensor. All right, the trigger sensor, which reads the temperature of the engine, which will be on these trucks. A sensor, it's gonna be right here. All right, this is it, this is the sensor. All right, so. We're gonna go ahead and swap it out. I have the brand new sensor here. Uh, el número de parte and the link will be on the description below. Uh, aquí en el video. So um, yeah, make sure y'all check it out. If you guys need it, um, I'll put the AC Delco one. What are you eating? <laughs> All right, so I'll put the, the AC Delco link to it. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, install it. All right, so it's just Remove the the connection. Pull this back. This is a steer up atrás. Bring it out. It comes right out. All right. And then uh, we'll take this off real quick. All right. So to remove this, this is going to be a 19 mil deep socket. All right. So this is we're going we're gonna to need to remove it. Let's go ahead and uh, take this off. Yes, it wouldn't say que no esté caliente. Because if the truck is hot, all that is going to sp spray all over your face. Go ahead and put it back on. All right, so this goes tightened up. Uh, the sensor to 15 foot-pounds. 15 libras. All right. I can't really see it. I can't focus on it. Anyways, it's 15 foot-pounds. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, torque it down. I don't. I like torquing everything. I don't like just leaving it. Uh, nice and tight because this like a it might leak so there it goes all right 15 make sure you connect the sensor back in like that connect the sensor click let's turn it on and try it out see what it does all right also I uh, replaced that sensor already that didn't solve the issue I um, thought it was a uh, relays they were all good um so next thing i did was i replaced the thermostat uh so i put oem thermostat back in supposedly previous uh customer the customer had uh replaced it with the autozone one and i mean autozone come on um I, I hate messing with their stuff because it's always some kind of issue that comes up with them so uh but the problem's fixed uh as you guys can see uh temperature's climbing now the fans uh the low kicks in at around 224 225 and see it's climbing up now so we're gonna see them right now kick in all right so uh they kick on at approximately 224 225 so let me see they kick in right now all right 221 so if you if you if you get it get it tuned you can set that to you can set them to kick kick on at a lower temperature all right i guess this that's what it's set to 
from factory. All right, so we're at 222 now, and yeah, this this truck was giving me a headache because they the fans did not want to kick on, and um, I would unplug it from there, from the actual uh, plug to the coolant sensor, and they would kick on because it's it's like it's not reading anything, so it automatically kicks everything on. Um, so the high would kick on up until the temperature would drop, you know, so um, it would work that way. See, we're at 224.6. This should kick on right about now. Um, so uh, they would kick on and it was just, it was giving me a headache. Um, finally, we figured out the problem, changed out that thermostat and uh, changed out that sensor. And um, man, the, the issue was solved. So here we go. Uh, about to get to, to the trigger temp. Uh, that's 224.6. Should be there right about now. There it goes. Trigger the on. All right, that's the fans running. The 225 is when it triggers the on. It's, it's reading 226 now, but fans kick on. There's the low. Um, I don't even think these trucks have gone to high, um, high speed. So uh, there it goes. The problem solved. All right, right now we're going to see the temperature drop. There it goes, 222. It'll drop down to like 210. All right, fans are still blowing. Put it right here so you guys can see. There it goes, they kicked off. Let's see how low the temperature got. 215, 213, 212. 212, 210, there it goes. All right, so it drops down to 210. That's the temperature right there. I guess it fluctuates between 225 and 210. All right, that's operating temperature for these trucks. And um, hope this helped out. And man, for all you guys having this issue, there you go, problem solved. So I'll post uh, uh, right below the part numbers of the parts I used. Y'all make sure y'all go uh, like the video, subscribe and share if you guys ain't following me yet. I really appreciate you guys. And any questions, y'all post a comment below. Or any comment you have, make sure y'all post a comment below. I really appreciate you guys. Catch on the next one.